Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, the 12900KS gets tested. Don't mess with NVIDIA. RX 7000 GPUs are incredible and it's finally happened. GPUs are being sold for under MSRP. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we have one of the first benchmarks on Intel's upcoming i9-12900KS. For those who don't know, the KS variant was announced back at CES and it gets a boost clock up to 5.5 GHz. Well, the CPU was recently tested in Geekbench and according to the scores, it gets around a 5% increase in single core performance and a 10% boost in multi-core. And of course, that isn't too much, but it's good enough to beat every other CPU and single core benchmarks. Like the 9900KS, the new model seems to be a heavily binned one for those who want the fastest mainstream chip Intel can offer and are fine with paying for a small difference. Either way, the part is expected to begin shipping sometime in March. But first, if you're not shopping at Micro Center, you're doing it wrong. Okay, you may not have one near you, but now's the time to make the trip because they've sponsored this video to offer you a great deal, an HP laptop that's nearly half off. It has a Ryzen 3 3250U, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD for just $199 after the code. And you'll get to check out all the incredible stuff at Micro Center, like their wall of motherboards, tons of different cases, CPUs, memory, and pretty much anything you could want for your build. If you're not in a building it yourself, you can use their builder tool, have an expert build it for you, and pick it up the same day. So if you've never been, now's the perfect chance. Just head to the link in the description to get this incredible incredible laptop deal and make sure to check out all the awesome stuff at Micro Center while you're at it. Next up for today, there's been a story unfolding in regards to stolen data from Nvidia. And let's just say Nvidia wasn't having it. The story originally comes from The Telegraph, who claimed that Nvidia had been hacked not long ago. According to Bloomberg, it was a ransomware attack by a group that was later found out to be the South American hacker group, Lapsus. Now, the company has since responded, claiming to be investigating the situation, but that they don't have any info to share at the moment. What's really wild about this is that Nvidia allegedly hacked the group back to encrypt their data. Apparently Lapsus did have copies though, and as of right now, it looks like they have about a terabyte of stolen data. And they're actually trying to sell a bypass to Nvidia's LHR or Lite hash rate version 2. They claim that they won't release one of the folders if Nvidia removes the LHR limitation on their own. According to video cards, Nvidia isn't in contact with the group, so they may release it all anyway. Lapsus has apparently already released the first part of the leak, and it seems legitimate. And of course, I won't have any kind of links to the material, as I definitely don't encourage downloading any of it. Really, I think the big part of this story is that Nvidia apparently hacked the group back. Obviously, they had copies, but it's clear that companies are getting sick of private data being stolen and are fighting back, and that may force other groups to rethink an attack in the future. Time, as always, will tell. Next up, AMD's next-gen GPUs are seriously looking more and more impressive by the hour. This story comes from a new leak by Red Gaming Tech, who goes over AMD's upcoming Navi 33 GPU, which should make up their RX 7600 XT, 7600, etc., given the naming scheme remains the same. But before I get to that, he also discussed their lower-end cards, which is a bit disheartening. According to one source, Navi 34 is coming, but not until next year and with a focus on mobile. Another source said it's coming, but they haven't heard anything, and a third source says it's not coming. Now, Red Gaming Tech believes we're going to see a refresh of RDNA 2 for the lower end cards, which is what I would guess as well if this ends up being correct. But when it comes to Navi 33, once again their mid-range cards are set to be a monolithic die built on TSMC's 6 nanometer process. But of course, we pretty well already knew that, but Red Gaming Tech shared a ton more information. For starters, surprisingly, it only comes with 8GB of VRAM. Now, a source said there could be a 16GB model, but in a comment to the video, Red Gaming Tech claimed that a generally accurate source says it's definitely only 8GB because it has a 128-bit bus. Now, there are two possible configurations, with one getting 5,120 cores and one having 4,096. He believes the 4,096 is the correct one, 
But either way, he went over performance, and this is where things get interesting. Navi 33 is set to beat AMD's RX 6900 XT. Specifically, he said the high-end model, so likely the 7600 XT should beat the 6900 XT in regular performance. But in ray tracing, it's going to be significantly faster. Basically, AMD's next-gen GPUs are set to get a big jump in performance that we haven't seen for quite a while. And lastly for today, oh boy, I'm so excited to bring this to you because it happened. GPUs below MSRP have finally hit shelves. And as of the writing of this video, they're still there. Tom's Hardware actually posted the story on it yesterday, and they're still there. I don't even know what to say. Well, I guess I'll tell you where they're at. The GPUs are being sold on one of Germany's largest tech retailers, MindFactory.de, and they're part of a big sale that's going on right now. The only downside is that they're AMD's new RX 6500 XT, which definitely have a lot of annoyances. But this could just be the beginning. I mean, we know Intel is literally planning to sell millions of their ARC GPUs when they release, so there may be a decent chance you could actually buy one. Now, when it comes to these cards, they may look over MSRP, but as Tom's Hardware mentions, Germany is a 19% VAT charge, so even when you convert it, we're looking at below MSRP. What's wild is that they were even cheaper for a bit, and this model that may look over MSRP, but even it seems to be below when you factor in the VAT. Either way, this is great news. And while this isn't in the US, Tom's Hardware has found one that's $59 over MSRP, but considering where GPUs have been in the past, that's not bad. Plus, we're talking brand new. So if things continue down this path, we'll likely see those drop as well. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited that GPU prices look to finally be dropping? And what do you think about AMD's next-gen GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!